Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick look and review of the latest build of Windows 10 Fall Creators Update. It's build 15.2.2.6 available to the fast ring. If you're in the slow ring you've been offered 15.2.2.3 so uh, getting there slowly. So what's available in the latest build? Well of course first of all I can't really I don't have any information about you know the update process because I wasn't home yesterday there was uh, something major that happened here that kind of prevented me of doing more videos during the day so I let my PCs on to make sure that they upgrade by themselves and my home and pro machine were upgraded to 16226 this morning when I woke up both of them were just waiting for me to log in so upgrade seems to have worked really well and uh, if you have an issue upgrading remember .NET Framework 3.5 needs to be removed or else your install will not work. And for those that couldn't upgrade to 16.215, fixes have been uh, you know, brought to this build that should make you upgrade this time around. So basically what do we have? We have a few new features in Microsoft Edge browser. So um, now you have more control over closing tabs. So basically when you actually you know, create new tabs in um, Microsoft Edge. Uh, of course, there's a lot of things, um, you know, you, you would see them at the top, but now uh, to ensure that they updated Microsoft Edge to ensure that the X in the tab band is always available to close a tab, even when it's JavaScript or, you know, an alert prompt of some sort. Dialogue is showing within Microsoft Edge. So that means even if there's a dialogue here, for example, fake antivirus with dialogue that would actually try to block you, you'd be able to still close a tab thanks to that. Uh, easier now to move from another browser. Now, cookies and settings from Chrome are migrating to Edge, which means if you do a import from um, in, the, in the menu here to um, import from another browser, basically you will now have not only the just the you know the bookmarks and the basic information but now you'll have the bookmarks the browsing history the cookies passwords and settings both from internet explorer and from chrome still not available for firefox firefox is still on bookmarks only but uh you know getting there that means you can easily move from google chrome to edge if you would want to um, copy and ask Cortana. Now you can select a text and copy and ask Cortana in addition to adding notes. Uh, so basically all you have to do is highlight or underline something. Cortana can help you do a little research. Uh, if you're reading an EPUB book for example, you are wondering what a word is about or you're wondering what a certain phrase, what it means, you can actually highlight it and when you highlight it in the EPUB you have the possibility to ask Cortana which is kind of cool. So this is something that is very, very nice also. And uh, basically, it uh, will make you go a little better. Uh, you can ink notes all over your EPUBs now, not only just, you know, um, highlighting everything, you can ink notes everywhere. So this is a new feature available from EPUBs. Improve favorites experience in Microsoft Edge. So now when you actually go to your Microsoft Edge browser, and check for the favorites. The favorites will now appear in a kind of an in, like Internet Explorer. Uh, they will now have basically uh, expandable folders that you'll be able. So, for example, here other bookmarks you can, you know, I can do this, and you got expandable folders that show you all the different thing uh, things in that folder. So it's kind of an improved experience. Um, to the favorites a lot of people didn't like that so now it's a little better and uh, not only that now you have also the possibility to easily easily add um, you know favorites add all sorts of information depending on what you're doing so it's easier than ever to do you can edit URLs uh, for your favorites now that was not available so you see it here if I right click I can edit the URL of a favorite so that's also something that's nice. 
and it's available also in the uh, favorites bar. One of the things you need to know at the top, if you've pinned some website, um, some of them might not work anymore. If that's the case, you need to pin them again. It might be possible that some of you have that not working anymore. Emoji updates, lots and tons of emoji panels. So there's like in the touch keyboard um, and the emoji panel. So basically you have tons of emojis now um, in Windows 10. They've moved to emojis, um, which is emoji 5.0. So there are like tons of new emojis if, if you uh, you move to the touch keyboard, for example. So I don't know if you can see them here. Let me just go to tablet mode for a second. Check the touch keyboard. And um, basically we should have in the touch keyboard, well, it's not appearing here. So I'll just uh, take this, for example. And now take the touch keyboard, which is here. So lots of more emojis now available in this emoji 5.0 as you see here tons of little things have been added to the emojis so um, basically you know if you are one of those people that like to use emojis that's the new stuff that you've got you can also search for emoji in the emoji panel so um, just you know type whatever you're searching for and it's actually going to give you a specific emoji uh, if you want to in, in the specific uh, areas. So, you know, whatever you want to do, tons of little things, as you see here, everywhere. They're really adding a lot of stuff in the emoji panels um, of, um, you know, and I'm, not, I'm, I'm one of those that guys that don't really use much of, um, you know, the, um, the, the, the emojis and anything. But uh, anyways, you know, it's, it's part of the experience. Some of you actually do like emojis a lot. Uh, they've upgraded, of course, the file on demand. So now everybody in this build has the file on demand, uh, that feature that I was talking about. So if you put the uh, save space and download files as you use them, it's now available. So everybody, everybody is there. And if you have download of something from an app, um, well, it's going to tell you, okay, downloading this or that app from, um, you know, or that file from OneDrive is going to pop up and it'll say what it's doing and what app is actually trying to access that information uh, that you want. There's tons of touch keyboard improvements in different languages. Also, gestures, text prediction, um, one hand curved flick touch keyboard for Japanese. Uh, then there's um, made adjustments um, with the feedback that they've received. So you no longer need to hold and move icon to move the touch keyboard. Um, you can paste away anything on the clipboard by the touch keyboard. Um, easier, uh, kind of much easier than before, uh, of course. So there's all sorts of little things here that were adjusted and emojis. Lots of handwriting and pen interactions that were actually changed also. Spatial sound has been also modified on the, um, basically on, on, on Windows 10. So if you um, go to the Windows 10 and try to change um, some of the, the, the sound capabilities, you can now configure 5.7, 7.1 Dol Dolby Atmos, Dolby Atmos for home theater in the menu. So uh, you can actually um, learn more also with the um, sound information. Gaming improvements, if you go into the gaming stuff uh, in the settings, for example, we will have in improvements in the gaming, a new panel here, Xbox networking that is now available. It will give you lat latency information. It will give you packet loss information. So if you got some issues, maybe you can see that, uh, what could be the problem. So uh, basically, uh, it tells you also the uh, you know information about your, your routing and your firewall connectivity. So uh, it tells you here um, what's, what's blocked and what's not. And you can, of course, click the Fix It button. It will fix some of that um, information. Something new also that you have in here 
is that if you go to the task manager, there's you know there's all, all sorts of a performance uh, stuff in the task manager. But now if you go to the task manager, one new performance information will appear that wasn't there before. And I think that's kind of cool. If you're wondering how your GPU is actually working, if you go to performance, there's now a GPU information. It's going to tell you what information you've got, uh, what you know, GPU and all the information that comes with this. So basically, uh, here I can see that, for example, my GPU, my three information on my GPU is not correct as the driver doesn't seem to be okay. But if you have, of course, the uh, a, a, a compatible GPU, you will see in the information about how much RAM your, your graphics processor is using. You'll see also how um, the performance of the graphics processor as you're, you're using apps or maybe even you know running a game. So this is kind of cool. This is something that was not um, available before. So in the performance tab, you will see GPU info. You also will see in the general processes at the top, uh, the GPU information from the different apps. So kind of cool, new way to see what's happening with your graphics processor. So I think that's very, very nice. Also, um, new in here is when you go to the storage sense in your settings, um, before the storage sense had, of course, you know, you could remove all sorts of little things. But storage sense now will actually let you also manage um, what you can actually uh, delete. And so basically, there's a new um, storage sense feature now that is removing old Windows versions. So if you go here, look at that. Here you'll see there's something called delete previous versions of Windows. If you put a check mark here and clean now, if you had a windows.old folder in your Windows machine, now it's easier than ever to remove that. And I think that's a welcome, uh, a welcome thing because a lot of people were wondering how to remove it. Is it safe to remove it? Now it actually does work. Um, there's a new remote desktop pane so um, if you go to settings and system, so let's go to home here, let's go system and go to uh, remote desktop. They have now um, changed or improved the page uh, from its counterpart and control panel to help you more easily establish a remote connection from your PC. So you can enable, you know, the, uh, the remote desktop um, information if you want to connect. Uh, this is mostly for pro versions, but uh, pretty cool. Improved update experience. If the update fails now when you go to the Windows updates, it's not just going to give you a cryptic, bizarre error message. It's going to give you a, a plain text of what is actually um, wrong. So it's going to be easier to understand, hopefully, because I know that some of these texts are still cryptic, but hopefully you will be able to uh, have some of that information it's kind of a little more clearly, and I think it's going to be nice to see that. Um, reveal is now, uh, in the shell improvements, Reveal is now enabled by default in this view, so uh, there are all sorts of uh, experiences in the style and acrylic material look and feel of the different menus and the different apps as they're coming. Uh, updated ex File Explorer context menu. If you right click on the file in File Explorer uh, or on the desktop, the context menu is upgraded with new features um, that will hopefully make you, um, you know, give access to, for example, is one of the features. So if you have it here, for example, give access to uh, remove access, create a home group, or join a home group, or a specific kind of people. There's all sorts of new little features like that. I did see that in 16.2.1.5, but um, now they're kind of talking about it a little more. Uh, more My People updates, uh, added text overflow, um, updated the switch apps button for people fly out, fixed issue with the last flight where people fly out would crash uh, if you would click on some pin contact sometimes. 
so I think this should be okay. Calculator has now a currency conversion, so if you use the calculator, it will be even more powerful now, as the calculator will actually have a currency conversion possibility. So that's um, also something interesting. So uh, what you need to do as a desktop version uh, is, if you go to menu and you go into converter, here we go, currency is here. So let's say that I wanna have Canadian dollars. Okay, let's try Canadian dollars. So let's see here, Canada dollar. So, um, and US. 55 US dollars is 72 and 83 cents Canadian dollar with the last update as you see of the June 22nd. Uh, so you can click the update rates if you want to have the latest rates for sure. Uh, so this is nice. I think it's a nice little thing. Uh, really, really cool to have that. Um, narrator gains auto captioning now. Also, what do we have in this build? If you clean install, uh, server meshes block one SMB one is finally removed. This is the networking protocol that was in Windows since Windows 3.1 30 years ago. Uh, it's insecure, so they removed it. But if you upgraded from the last build, you're still you still have it, but it will be removed eventually. And finally, you got Hyper-V improvements. Uh, you can share your virtual machines with ease with the new virtual machine sharing feature. So if you have Hyper-V, uh, this should be there. So all sorts of new little things. Of course, if you want to learn more on my Windows Insider channel, I will be checking out different new features and showing them more um, closely. So you'll, uh, you know, this one is, uh, this, this video is more of a, let's go fast and talk about all the new things. We'll look at it more in detail. Apart from that, no crashes, no bugs. Been using it since this morning. Had absolutely no issues personally here, except uh, sometimes on one of my two machines, the notifications area, the action center, is totally transparent instead of having this look that it has right now with acrylic. So, kind of weird, but it doesn't, you know, prevent me from actually working. So, if you have installed it, what do you like? What you don't like? Do you have any problems? And hopefully, you can upgrade to this build. Uh, nice build once again and uh, pretty cool to have all these new features if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up and thank you for watching